I hope you've enjoyed my TED talk. Can you see that? I've got daffodils on my desk. Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Let's talk about knitting needles and sizes. Now, you may be aware that most knitting patterns tell you what size of needle to use. And these days, generally speaking, if you're reading from a modern pattern, it will be the millimetre size. What I want to talk about today is what happens if you knit with the wrong size of needle. And also what happens when you knit with the right size of needle, along with why you need needle sizes to be right in more than one way. And we're going to talk about this as well. And it's something that I've noticed over the years about myself and I have made a big effort to make sure that I have the right sizes for what I'm knitting and it does make a big difference. So let's talk about that today. So first of all, let's look at the samples I've got in front of me. I've already knitted these up so you haven't got to sit here and watch me knit, but you can see that I have four different colours of yarn on different needles. This is a size 12 millimeter needle. This is a size 10. This is a size 8 millimeter needle. And this is a five and a half millimeter needle. Now, the interesting thing about this is that you can already see that there's a difference. It's kind of obvious when you look at it like that. If I lay them on top of each other, you will see the difference even more. So that's a size 12 in the green and a 10 millimeter in the blue. You can even see that the same number of rows is taking me less in the way of inches. It's not taking me as far. Eight millimeter on top of the 10. Yes, we're, knit we're not knitting as far width wise, but we're also, again, not knitting as far height wise. Look at the five and a half millimeter. That's even a bigger difference. That is just two and a half millimetres difference. There you go. Look at that. And I will show you something else as well. The density of this fabric. This is really tight. Look at that. It's, it's tight so you could use this if you wanted something really firm and dense. Possibly for a coaster. I wouldn't recommend this in any way, shape or form. This is a thick yarn. Recommended needles for this yarn is 10 to 12 millimetres. And this is a thick, dense fabric that's been knitted. This is still quite dense. There's not a lot of give in it, but there's a little bit more give. You can't really fold that one very easily at all. This one you can fold as you get slightly bigger. This is a recommended size for this yarn. So that is quite loose, you can fold it, you can roll it, and it feels quite mouldable, quite um, easy to wear. If you were making a jumper with this, I'd say, yeah, I'd wear that. And this just feels a bit looser. It's uh, a really pliable, comfortable, easy fabric. So that's a really nice fabric that you've finished there with 12 millimeter needles. Okay. So that's what we've looked at so far. You can see the size of the finished knit. You can see the density and pliability of the finished fabric too. That is something that we can see with all of this. Now, something else have you noticed with the needle size? Just let me line them up for you. And I will put them next to my tape measure. This one is 14 inches or 35 centimeters. This one is 12 inches or 30 centimeters. These two are the same length. They are about nine, nine, and that is approximately 23 centimeters. So there's the difference here. And one thing I will show you is that if you were to knit on 23 centimeter, 12 millimeter needles, your stitches would barely fit on. You'd actually have a problem. They'd be squashed and you might lose some stitches in between knitting sessions. 
So that's one thing that I've really taken note of in the last decade or so of my knitting. It's knitting needles of different lengths are available. I make note of that and when I'm picking up a knitting pattern and I'm picking up yarn, I think about how many stitches there are and with all of the kits that we sell, I pick out the ideal length of needle that will work for the pattern that you're knitting because it makes such a big difference. If you are knitting a very short number, a small number of stitches on a thin needle and there is a massive gap at the end of it, yes, you're not going to lose stitches in between knitting, but you're going to be banging yourself with it, you're going to be banging your husband like I used to on the sofa while you're knitting. You've got your husband or your wife sat next to you or your three-year-old daughter going, Mummy, stop hitting me! And it's annoying. I used to wonder why I had this pain on my right muscle here, on my arm. But it was because I was knitting something specific and the needle was banging me in the arm every single time I made a stitch. That was because I had so few stitches on my needle and it was a really long needle. That was when I said, I've had enough, I'm getting shorter needles. So yes, make that change. And if necessary, this is what I started doing when I, when I realized that was happening. For sleeves that I was knitting for a jumper, I'd used shorter needles. When I was knitting the main body of the jumper, I would use longer needles because it worked like that. It made sense like that. So there are different sizes of needles for different occasions. Just be aware of it. As a beginner, you don't need a whole set of needles. Um, making sure that you've got every single needle that you need. All I'm suggesting is as you knit more and more, Maybe you say, I've already got six millimetre needle, I don't need any more. But if you've bought your six millimetre needles, you've used them for six or seven projects already. And then all of a sudden you say, actually, this has got so many more stitches on it. It will be really helpful if I have a longer needle. Get yourself a longer needle of the same millimetre size. It will be so helpful and you will benefit from it. You will be thankful for it when you're not losing stitches at the end in between knitting sessions, when they're not all scrunched up so you can't see what you've done and where you're going and you can't gauge exactly what part of the pattern you're on. So yeah, just build up your collection as you go and you will realise that it's really beneficial in more ways than one to have different sizes of needle. There you go. I hope you've enjoyed my TED talk. It's felt like something I've wanted to say for a while because it's, no, the millimetre is the, isn't the only thing that matters. The length can be a really big help too. So there you go. Density, finished size of a piece. Just imagine if you were knitting a scarf and you picked up the wrong needles. That's going to be so much shorter and so much so much less width to it it's going to be really really weird the scarf that you finish with and the fabric will be so dense it'll actually be really uncomfortable to wear so it does make a difference it makes a big difference so just be aware of that as you're knitting as you're getting yourself ready for a new pattern a new new project there you go and yes the kits that we have in the shop like i say everything's organized for you so if you want all of the bits and pieces that go with it then you can add those to your kit as you go. You, you won't just be getting the leaflet and the needle and the yarn if that's what you need, but you can also get the needles and everything else too, all of the tools that you might need to finish the knitting project. Okay, I'm actually recording this before Christmas, can you believe? I just need to get everything ready. I need to get stuff ready for January so that I'm not chasing my tail in the new year. Click below for the top 10 tips for beginner knitters. That's from last year, but this was just a deep dive into one of them. And glue, do click subscribe. If you're subscribed to the channel and you click on the bell as well, YouTube will let you know every time I release one. That's every Tuesday, every week. I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Happy knitting.